Okay, so I'm taking my lunch break to do this real quick. Uh, it's two two o'clock. That's what I clocked in for my lunch, and I want to do a quick reveal. I'm gonna upload the video later, but um, listen, I'm not gonna convince anybody who hates this suit to love it. Whether you are a Snyder cultist or just a James Gunn hater, I'm not trying to convince you to love this suit. Uh, nor I'm going to try to make, convince you to hate this suit if you are a James Gunn uh, ride or die fan. Uh, what I'm going to give you is my honest opinion on what I think is good, what I think is bad, uh, and what I think it works, and what I think it doesn't work. Uh, first of all, listen, I it took me a little bit of time to, to look at it and say, I don't know if I like it. I, I honestly didn't know if I love it or hated it. I was like looking at it. Uh, indifferently. I was like, well, this is a little bit underwhelming. When the reason why is because the suit reveals in the past, they have been very good. The one for Brandon Routh was okay, but the one for uh, Henry Cavill was excellent. Uh, this one is different. It was It's just him sitting there on a couch, some action going in the back. I guess Goku is fighting Vegeta or some Namekian. I don't know what's going on in the background. But the things that, the things that I take away from this suit is that, or from his demeanor, is that uh, he's kind of a reluctant hero. Like he knows he got to go and fight whether he, he wants, to, wants to or not. That's what the body language is telling me. As far as the suit, I like the S. I like the aesthetic. I knew they were going to go for something close to the New 52. And I'm okay with that. So it's like an amalgamation of the New 52 and, and Kingdom Come. Uh, we already seen the, the whole argument about why he's doing Kingdom Come so quick. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think we, eventually it's going to lead up to that. Um, I don't mind the suit. The, I don't know if I'm a big fan the way that the cape is in. What I like is that it's battle work. It's, it's battle torn. It's, it's it's already been through some. Sh <laughs> if you see if you see here, it looks like it got some burns. I guess it got some blast. It's been tested. I think he's already been tested as a Superman. He's been uh, through some stuff. And uh, he's just getting ready and putting the suit on no matter what the consequences are. And he's still going to go and fight and do the right thing. That's what I gather from the aesthetic of this image. I don't know. Again, I don't know what's going on in the background. I think this image, this here. I th I'm thinking this is um, a lantern. And a lot of people are convinced that this is supposed to be. Okay, so a lot of people are making assumptions that this is Brainiac's uh, skull ship. And it could be. Or it could be the... If you read the comics, uh, the, the 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 authority they have a ship that kind of resembles uh, Brainiac's ship, uh, so it could be that too. So I, I we don't know. Uh, so th th to me, th that mystery is fine to be there. Trunks, the trunks are back. I'm fine with it. I haven't gotten a really good look, but we know they're there. And the belt, we haven't gotten a good look. I like that the the the, the cape is long. Uh, and girthy. <laughs> I like that the, the cape is long. I don't, I don't know if it has an S on the back. I want to see an S on the back. I really like, I really like the look. What I appreciate that this looks completely different from what we've seen before. There's no way no somebody can make the comparison anymore. So I know people who hate the uh, James Gunn aesthetic will find a way to say, "Hey, this is better." Instead, of, but if it would have looked like G uh, Henry Cavill's, they would say, "Well, it looks like Henry Cavill. That's why it's good." So I like it that it's completely different. You know, leave it and die with your decisions. It, it, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with him saying, "You know what? I'm going for broke. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do what I like, what I love, what I, and this is the vision that I have, and I'm gonna put forward whether you like it or not. What matters is the story, and I think that's what that's that's a fair assessment i think whether people love it or not what's important is this the story because i was not a fan of the batman uh marries the batman cow i still hate that cow i like the chess piece i don't like the boots there's some parts of it that i love and some parts that i hate but did it make did it take away from the experience that i have when i watched the movie no it didn't it, I, I actually enjoyed that a lot of the movie so i got the, i got the feeling this is what we're gonna get with this film as well then we're gonna get a good film in there are going to be parts that we don't like and some parts that we're going to love uh, uh as far as the suit i'm I, again it took me a little bit of time like i talked to women i talked to with my kids and a couple of friends and i'm more leaning towards yeah i like it versus that yeah i don't like it i'm not too crazy about the i haven't gotten a good look at the the trunks 
I was team, I don't care. <laughs> like I, I know there's team trunks and teams no trunk. And I know that they like the, the streamlined look of not having in the trunks and some others that like the classic uh, feel and look of the having the trunks. I, I get that. But I, you know what? I don't mind this. I think I don't want to make the argument that a lot of people are making that this is going to be the first iteration of the suit. Like every time we get a superhero film and they're reintroducing the character, there are always people saying or assuming or making um, uh, uh, fake scoops that there are multiple suits. I don't think there's multiple suits. I think this is it. <laughs> We're just going to get a cleaner version of it at one point when he looking when he's uh, not in battle. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm OK. I, I, I'm not over the moon, but I want to see it in action. I think um, I to be uh, to be fair, I think James Gunn approach to the reveal the suit was not the best one. If you ask me, I don't think this was the best one. I think uh, Matt Reeves did a perfect job when he revealed the suit. I think also the same thing happened when when uh, Todd Phillips revealed uh, his Joker that he did a camera test and show what it looks like, I thought that was the best approach. I thought that approach in the DCU will work. Show me a uh, camera test or what what the ca what this guy is gonna look like, because you not you didn't sh do an earth shattering thing. Yeah, there's a lot of conversation in social media about this, and there's a lot of vitriol. In which is all it's all good because it's, it's all engagement, but at the same time you want to win you want to win people over, and I think that's where I feel like there was a missed opportunity on James Gunn's behalf. Um, I, I wish we get some more. I think I got a feeling that we're gonna get more. I, I for some reason I got a feeling that we're gonna get some more in the following way, days or weeks. Maybe during the Warner Brothers presentation at the end of the month we're gonna get some uh, a clip or footage or something. But I think he, uh, James, gonna need to do something to uh, change the conversation. As far as uh, David Carnes were looking like Superman, he looks like Superman. There's no denying it. He looks, he looks the part. Um, I'm, I know people don't like the collar. I don't. I never mind the collar from the New Fifty Two. So I thought I thought this this is pretty good. So let's see what other people are saying. So I posted this on 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 the social media. Uh, thoughts on the new Superman suit. Perfect, 31%, hate it, it only 18% and waiting for more, 50%. So that uh, over 105 votes, not a lot of votes because I just posted a, uh, an hour and a half ago. Um, <clears throat> actually, an hour ago. What I'm saying is that this is, mm, I don't know, you know, this is more leaning on the positive, which is a good thing, I guess. And here is an image of David Carnesworth <laughs> shirtless. That dude looks cock diesel. He could mess something up. And I think if you look back here, you can see the back. It's, you know, it's, I don't know. This dude is 6'4", jacked. Uh, he, he's fine. <laughs> He'll be fine. I think, uh, yeah, he's hulking big time there. He went from Mrs. Spaghetti Man to the Hulk. Yeah, so he's he's bulked up a lot. So... I don't think I think he he'll be fine. I don't know something about his eyebrows that I, again I know we saw in the first image where he was reading the comic book. I think it was on Superman uh, birthday, and I I don't know if that's a, uh, um I don't know if they his eyebrows color change or they, this is a a purposely um this uh, designed by James Gunn. I don't know a design choice by 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 James Gunn. Because I remember uh, when I saw this image, I'm thinking about um, uh, Fletcher. Fletcher, Superman, you can see like he doesn't have eyebrows and you can see his, his eyes like halfway closed. So I don't know if that's a sh that's a uh, that's a call back to that or an Easter egg to that. But I don't I do not know. But that's the only thing that I thought of. And uh, even listen, this this thing has brought back some people from the dead. His comment book marks saying, "Ah, we have the, f <laughs> we have a timeline. It's during the Saiyan saga, <laughs> I guess, because of the, the Dragon Ball Z image back there. And it, it depends what fandom you talk to. Because look, this is uh, DCU updates, which are predominantly all his followers are predominantly DC fans and um, and James Gunn fan. And listen, out of 
2,000 plus votes, 76% are on the positive side. Uh, RJ said, I think I like it. I need more. It's, it's, I think I'm getting, the general consensus is that a lot of people need more. Like, I feel uh, that James Gunn didn't do a great job uh, presenting this. He could have done a better uh, a better presentation. Uh, this I think this was a missed opportunity. I don't think the suit is bad. I think it was just the way that it was uh, pre uh, pre uh, proposed or shown to everybody. And like I said before, these are their previous ones. This first looks and to me, yeah, to me, I'm. it's not even a biased thing. I think Henry Cavill uh first suit reveal to me was absolutely flawless it was perfect the suit everything you, you speak the imagination of anybody or every superman fan and every every dc fan i thought this was perfect um and he, he demonstrated his power his strength crashing against a vault man of steel he gave you all those things in just one shot and this feels mm, I, I, it's something I don't know. I don't know. It's just I think uh, the presentation could have been better. Uh, I know the I get I get the message behind it, but I just thought um, it, it it's it could have been a little bit better. One thing to note is that the suit color palette is very grounded. So and it needed to be completely different from the previous iteration because again you don't want to make those comparison so i i think on that aspect i really like that he took that approach to make it more um more a little bit more grounded even because i remember i uh, was watching men of steel and the boot was where it's like snug tight like like they were drawn into his leg i'm like how did he put those things on so uh you know in, in those are the, the little things that as a as a rational person you ask yourself yeah you want to detach yourself from reality and say hey yeah this is a fantastical film what do you expect you to you know to have everything explained so here you have him like putting on the clothes because it is something that that somebody would do it's put if you're a superhero in a grounded universe you had to put on the suit to go in battle so i thought this was pretty good so so far so good i don't think it uh again no no earth shattering <laughs> so uh some people find it like uh, this user dc comic uh fanboy uh beautiful i can't wait to uh, see more david connors with superman some uh this user say you and <laughs> this person is just laughing i think i thought i put a poll did i put a poll on the, on the page uh let me see if i put a poll community did i of course i did it no, I didn't. Okay, that's all right. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about the suit. Leave me a comment. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know what you, your thoughts in the comment section. Till next time, guys. Never let your nerd die. Peace.